Hello everyone. In today's video, we will see how to set up our Azure tenant for the first time. Here I have registered for a new Azure tenant. And if I go under Azure Active Directory, I would see I will have only one user, which is uh, the username which I specified while I created this tenant. And this is my domain name which I specified. And on Microsoft.com is uh, appended to it. So this is the default uh, domain name which Microsoft gives and then we specify our prefix to that and this is our username which is the global admin. Apart from this, I do not have any users here. I could create users here by going to new user, giving a user identity, giving a username, name, first name, last name and those would be cloud only users. But in a production environment, you have your on-premise environment from where you sync the user. So in this demo, we will see how we will sync our on-premise users. And also if we see the domain name for these users on cloud is anudev.onmicrosoft.com, which actually does not replicate my public domain name or my UPN, which I want to use publicly. I may want to use my company name. So we will also see how to add a custom domain name here. So let us uh, start by adding a custom domain name. In order to do that, I will have to purchase the custom domain name. So one of the providers which do that is GoDaddy India. So I will log into GoDaddy and purchase a domain name. Here I am on GoDaddy.com. I am logged in with my account. I already have a domain name which I purchased earlier and that is being used somewhere else so i will purchase a new one for my new azure ready tenant i will have to search for a domain name whether that is available or not so i will search for anudev.co.in and see whether it's available or not so yes it is available and the cost of it is uh, 400 indian rupees per year and i will click on buy and I will buy this domain so I'm going to pause the video till I make the payment and then I will come back so I have purchased this uh, anudev.co.in and now we will add this in uh, our new Azure AD tenant so we'll go to Azure Active Directory we will go to custom domain names we'll add a custom domain name which is anudev.co.in add it and we will have to verify it select the record type txt and we will have to create this record in our dns in our public dns on godaddyindia.com where we purchase that domain name and it will get verified so i will copy this uh, ms6213924 so i am back to my godaddy.com i will go to my domain and click on manage DNS. In the DNS, I will click on add, select TXT, host would be add the rate and the TXT value I will paste which I got from Azure portal. So I'm going to pause the video and paste this value and save it. And then we will go to Azure portal. So value has been saved in my public DNS and we will click on verify to verify it. And I will make this anudev.co.in as my primary. So whenever now I create any new user account in Azure AD, it will by default append anudev.co.in instead of anudev.onmicrosoft.com. So now it is uh, primary. And uh, if I go back to Azure AD users and create a new user, it will by default append anudev.co.in now but this is still we are creating our cloud users not our on-premise users so what i want is in my on-premise in octaforest18.com if i create any user that should sync to cloud for that we will download azure ad connect on our on-premise domain controller and then enable a sync so first of all i will go to google and download azure ad connect So we will download the latest version. Azure AD Connect has been downloaded. The setup is waiting to be run. But before we do that, 
even on our on-premise uh, domain our domain name is octaforest18.com so we will change the upn here to anudev.co.in so any user we create we can use the upn anudev.co.in here so for that we will go to active directory domains and trusts right click it go to properties and add it and now if i create any user in my on-prem ad as well i can select the upn which is anudev.co.in so let us uh, configure azure ad connect so we'll go through the visit we'll go to customize leave all the options like this and click on install we will leave password as sync uh, checked where our passwords will be synced to azure ad for other options we need extra servers like for PT pass through authentication, we need a PTA connector. For federation, we need ADFS servers. And we will enable single sign on. Here we will have to specify the global admin account, which is Anubal Sharma at anudev.onmicrosoft.com and the password for it. I could also create another global admin in my Azure ID, which would be a cloud only account. So that would be Anubhav Sharma at anudev.co.in. So here under roles, I will have to select a global admin, which I have done. This would be my usage location, which is Australia. And create now I could use uh, my own work Sharma at anudev.co.in also once I sync my on-premise account one of my on-premise accounts I will make as global admin as well so on Azure ready connect uh, on this page we will click on add directory here it uh, is asking us whether you want to specify any existing account for sync or create a new one so we will create a new one here we will enter our admin username and admin password for our on-premise ad we'll click on next so our anudev.co.in is uh, a verified domain name so that is fine so the users will not be able to sign into azure ad with on-premise credentials if upn suffix does not match a verified domain so in our case it matches so any user with this upn suffix name will be able to log into our cloud services in cases where your company has an on-premise domain name and it is same as the public domain name then you don't need an additional upn but uh, here i had to create one and i will select continue without matching all UP upn suffixes to verified domain because i have one of them here so that is fine i want to sync all the domains and OU, but uh, you can select specific OUs as well so all the options I will leave as uh, default password hash sync is fine so and I will select password right back as well click on next here we will have to enter domain admin credentials to configure our on-premise uh, forest for single sign-on so credentials have worked and we'll click on next and now that's it that is what all is required in azure ready connect to be set up and once i click on retry the synchronization will start happening and it will sync my on-premise accounts while the sync is happening it we asked if to create an account in our ad and we could see that it has created this account and also these uh, ad groups in our ad for azure ad synchronization so let us create a user account here as well so that would be user and let us create a global admin account we will name it global administrator you could name it anything so once that is synced we will assign this user global administrator rights on azure ad so here we will change the upn suffix and specify our password 
so that is done and let us wait for the sync to complete i will pause the video and come back once it is done so our sync is now complete so as already connect will by default uh, sync after a few hours i believe it's 30 minutes i'm not sure but we can also force it as uh, delta sync so for that we open our powershell command and type in ad sync sync cycle command and it will do a sync let us go to our azure ad and see whether we see the synced identities here or not so yes this is the account which i created my on premise with the upn in and any account with this upn in my on prem will get synced so this account has been created and we could assign it a global admin role so we could click on add assignments global admin so now i have three accounts which are global admin two of them are cloud account we could see from the source that these are these are cloud accounts and one of them is my on-prem account any new account which i create in ad or any existing account for which i change the upn to anudev.co.in it will get synced here now i have got a few licenses with me which are my microsoft 365 e5 developer licenses 24 of them are available and one is assigned so I could assign them to the users and start using the products which are linked to this E5 license. I go to service plan details and I could see these all things uh, which are linked to this license like Azure AD P2 advanced threat protection, Intune. So I could use Intune for these user accounts for mobile device management. SharePoint Online, Whiteboard, some Office 365 products like Microsoft Teams are here. So now I can have 25 users who can use these features. So once those users are synced to cloud, I can come to this portal and assign this license to them. I hope you liked this video where we saw how to start with our Azure AD wherein we buy a new tenant from Microsoft, how to add a custom domain, how to sync the identities by using that custom domain UPN and assign licenses and get up and running. So please like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my future videos. Bye-bye.